the total number, mm -hmm. what we reported today, we said mm -hmm. uh, 17, but the total number mm -hmm. was uh, 17 cases mm -hmm. and then 16 mortalities. 16 mortalities. Yeah. So as it stands, the mortalities are 16, yes, but these cases altogether were 17. Yeah, that was for the cases that were reported from 1st May. Right. Now, but when they've gone backwards to the T since 1st March, mm -hmm. They've seen a total of um, 38 cases. 38 cases. Yes, okay. and 16, uh, the deaths are the same, 16, mm -hmm. uh, but the other 16 were discharged. Mm -hmm. And then you have two, um, two, two, two were still, uh, they say, admitted also. Right. Uh, so now the total count is 38. If they went back, they went back from only first. To of see from the first of May, the, f the first reporting was first May. First May. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when they went back to first March, mm -hmm. they think that they've seen similar cases, mm -hmm. and the total count would be 38, and the total number of dead is 16. 16. So were you able to manage to trace the cause of the death? Yes. Yeah, so we are. Um, we can't, for now, for example, pinpoint mm -hmm. what would I think is what caused that. But what happened is that we've encouraged all our facilities mm -hmm. to have a very low threshold mm -hmm. for reporting. Mm -hmm. Now, we prefer you to report, mm -hmm. we investigate, and there is no problem. Then, so we have a very low threshold. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are getting a lot of alerts. So if there is any Im increase in the number of sicknesses you have in any particular area, we want you to report it mm -hmm. so that we investigate. If there is something, then we get it. If there is nothing, then we don't have to worry. So, so this is this is what is triggering um, all the reports that we are having and all the alerts. Right. So reports suggest that um, the victims have manifested signs like breathing difficulty, fever, and vomiting, and we are said to have taken syrups. Does this have any linkage to the AKI? Um. So what? Yes. Most of them have fever, mm -hmm. vomiting, respiratory symptoms. Mm -hmm. Some have convulsions and mm -hmm. without convulsions. Mm -hmm. So from when the, these experts met and discussed, what they thought is the, the number one likely cause mm -hmm. is maybe meningococcal disease. It's a form of bacteria mm -hmm. uh, that sometimes presents like this. Mm -hmm. So that's the first one on our list. Mm -hmm. And then we are thinking of organophosphates mm -hmm. like snipers mm -hmm. and those type of things. Mm -hmm. But drugs is low on the list, on the very on the on the uh, on the list. Right. So what for parents of children in this age bracket, what should they look out for? So um, what we've seen is that most of the cases, mm -hmm. um, they don't come st early. You know, mm -hmm. and, they've, and sometimes the referral is delayed. Mm -hmm. They go to one drugstore, to another drugstore. So most of the cases, they have visited two drugstores or a facility mm -hmm. before coming to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And when they come to the hospital, it would have been very late. Mm -hmm. And they don't um, spend long time. Mm -hmm. uh, the, max, the hours, they are less than uh, three hours mm -hmm. when they come to the hospital the ones that succumb, mm -hmm. the others survive. Mm -hmm. So uh, we want people to r r go to the hospitals very early if they have symptoms and signs like respiratory distress, if they have difficulty breathing, if their necks are stiff mm -hmm. or anything mm -hmm. like that, or they feel like they're collapsed or the, the fever is very high, they should report to so the hospital. So what's the ministry currently doing in to be able to know the cause of this death? Uh, so this is what happened. Um, investigation is ongoing the mm -hmm. last case we have that had similar symptoms was last sunday mm -hmm. and since then there's not been any case but uh, the teams are going to the houses mm -hmm. to check to ask them questions to see what drugs they have did any member of the family have it uh, are they all f in the same area mm -hmm. you know those type of things so that we can pinpoint and and those in the hospital also will take samples mm -hmm. and also do some investigation. So yeah. what actually informed the ministry? This how di how did the ministry or even the health facility come to realize that uh, most of these children are dying from this particular like at a go? No, now what we since the AKI mm -hmm. now most facilities they don't wait till end of the year mm -hmm. to say oh we analyze our deaths and then we find that it's decreasing. Mm -hmm. Now as you go. Every month you analyze your sicknesses. This mm -hmm. we have these people with fever. We had these people with mortality. Mm -hmm. So if you see any increase, you have to t tell us. Then we could we start to report to see whether there is any reason for it. So you also compare the years before mm -hmm. and these years to see whether there is any trend and if there is increase or not. Okay. So as it stands, um, there is no. It is not attached to any disease or anything. Did that? 
So or for the cases to say? Yes, for now we think that it is some bacterial infection okay. that leads to shock mm -hmm. and causing this. But it could be what our investigation mm -hmm. is wider than that. It okay. could be organophosphates, mm -hmm. it could be mm -hmm. anything else. But we are not saying that that's it. But you know, when we looked at all the symptoms and the way it presents and everything, it looks like something like okay. that. Okay. So uh, finally, do you have control over the situation? or And there are, are there any, are the cases only limited to the Carnif in General Hospital? So we've sent in notice to mm -hmm. other uh, areas mm -hmm. and we are seeing, but we've not seen yet this type of reports. Mm -hmm. But um, the, even kind of in the last one they saw that looked like this was since on Sunday. Okay.